Welcome on into the TC Trading Channel. We're gonna do a quick tutorial on how to get multiple charts on your trading view layout. It'll take us about two seconds to do. So here you are on a trading view layout. Let's say you have your watch list pulled up. You're like, all right, I wanna look at the S&P 500, pull up the S&P. I'm like, all right, cool. Uh, I wanna pull up some individual stocks because maybe I like to look at a bunch of different things on any given day. And I wanna have you know my charts pulled up for Apple and I wanna trade them on my phone or I wanna trade them on my other platform or my computer over here. But I want my screen right now to have multiple charts and to have it all pulled up or whatever you want to do. Great, awesome. So top of your screen where it says main layout, at least for me, you can customize this by the way, but right to the left, we have a video on how to do that. To the left of that, there's a select layout. Now here is where you can change your layout, okay? You have about eight different potential options, but in each of those, there's multiple. So you guys can kind of see in the top right how many options we have. But if I wanted to get, let's just say like a quad box going, I'll go to the four and I'll pull up a quad box. And just like that, now I have the ability to see four charts at the exact same time. Then what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to change what you're looking at, right? So how do you go ahead and change that? When I go back to my watch list or if I'm selected on a chart, what I have to do, in this case, see how I have the Dow Jones now pulled up? If I'm selected on that chart, it'll highlight that chart or that window in blue then I could change it. So see how it says S&P 500 SPX right here in the top left? If I wanna pull up Apple's chart, AAPL, type it in, select it, done, enter, and you're good to go. Now Apple's up here in the top left. If I wanna change the chart now in the bottom left, go back up to my top left corner, and then go ahead and pull up, let's say Tesla, okay? So now I'm gonna have all these charts pulled up where I want them. Bottom right, go back to my watch. Let's say I want to do it for my watch list and I want to pull up, I don't know, let's just talk, let's go to TLT. Pull up TLT for my watch list and then now it's in the bottom right. So just make sure that you have the selected chart or the window selected before you go ahead and enter in a stock or enter in or click on whatever you want to change. So now I have everything pulled up and uh, we are essentially good to go. But the thing is here, as I change in this or as I zoom in on this chart, you're going to see that, that the cursor continues to follow over the same time span on the other charts. There's a way to change this here, and I'll show you in just one second. But if I was to zoom out on Apple, and I was to go back to now kind of what we were just at, I could now change this to the five minute chart. Whatever chart that I select will now go to the five minute chart, okay? So keep that in mind when you are looking at these charts, okay? And now if I zoom in, or if I'm starting to hover over today's price action or the recent price action on the Dow on the right hand side, see how that cursor, on the, on the left two charts is now at the same day. See how it kind of follows along? So just make sure that your time frames are potentially synced to a way that you won't get annoyed by that. It doesn't really matter at the end of the day, but that's one that's one thing or one, I guess, nuance that you can also change, but just make sure that that's something you're paying attention to. So when your chart is selected, then you can change the time frame. You can change all that stuff, but you have to have your chart selected. Now up in the top right, if I was to go back to that top right, click on that little icon next to main layout, see how it says sync in layout? I have it synced to the crosshairs. I could sync the symbol, for example, and now you'll see that everything is TLT. So everything is TLT, okay? I might not want that. So I have mine sitting out a crosshair. There's also an interval option which allows interval changes on all charts of the layout simultaneously. Then there's the time right here, which when you click on it on a single chart, others get scrolled to this for the same time point on the time axis, also a date range. And of course, there's more options here. Let's say this is my layout of choice. I like to have, let's say, on the top chart, select that, the S&P 500, let's pull up SPY on the top. And then I wanna have my six you know, stocks or my four stocks in this case that I'm watching today. I can pull up, let's just go Apple. Let's say TLT I want as one of them. Let's pull up Tesla, TSLA. And then let's pull up on the right-hand side, let's pull up AMZN, Amazon. Now, boom, just like that, I can essentially watch how SPY is trading on the top connect those and see how it's trading versus Apple, Amazon, Tesla, TLT, all those things. And that is how you do it. May not be super obvious initially, but once you guys unlock this guy right here, this top right icon, uh, there's a lot that you can do and customize at the end of the day. A lot of cool layouts. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comment section down below. Feel free to customize things. Really cool feature that you have on TradingView here, and I would highly recommend you take advantage of that. There'll be a link to TradingView in the pinned comment and video description box down below for a 30-day free trial. Check it out if you want to. There's also a free version. Check that out. Use the free version or upgrade if you want to. Have a video also detailing which plan may be worth it to you 
on the channel already. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hit the thumbs up button. Consider subscribing here to the TC Trading Channel, and we'll see you in a future video. Peace.